Hello everyone, my name's Adam and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at finally naming this ginormous machine. Yes, that is the technical term. We got a bunch of suggestions from the likes of Twitter and YouTube, but not the companies themselves, obviously, people that left comments there, as well as a box of written suggestions that I got from 3D Meetup UK and the people that visited there. So, I think it's about time we run through these names, take a look at what the suggestions are, and try and pick one out. So let's get stuck straight into some of these names. We'll start off running through the ones that I have from Twitter, and then we'll go through the YouTube ones, and then we'll go through this special selection that I got from 3D Meetup, and then hopefully select one before the end of the video. In fact, I might select a few, and I'll give you a poll, and you can select the final name. Is that a bit risky? I think it probably is. We'll give it a go. Let's see where we get to. So the first one we had was phase one, quite an interesting one, plastic heater and STL extruder. It's quite a cool name, seems to work quite well. Hench, highly engineered, numerically controlled hickey. Okay. <laughs> uh, the monster, suggested by Tinkers. I do quite like that one. I have sort of been mildly referring it as that every now and then. So that could be a good one. After we had a few kind of general suggestions, people started to really get rolling and yeah, everyone decided to try and call it Adam. So we had another dam autom automated machine by JT. We had uh, accelerated device analyzing machine by Exoslide. Not sure we're doing a whole lot of analyzing. We had Adams, acronyms don't always make sense. A very good name, but maybe not for this printer. I do really like that suggestion. That was from the real world bot. We had Aussie Dude a Madman. It's definitely a bit of a mashup of trying to get specific words in there, I think, by Spud01AU. And then we got a little bit smarter and moved on to Adam and Eve. So another dead animatronic machine and everybody's very edgy. That name definitely starts great and then tends to slip off towards the end, but still a very nice suggestion. Thank you very much, Krusty, with two S's, of course. And then we got Adam's Eve, as if Eve belonged to Adam. Uh, automatical depositing about making sweet epic volume extrusions from Das Mir. Ooh, I think that one's quite close. That's quite a good name. And then we've got Ad another Adam and Eve, which is awesomely detailed and mechanised activities now done even virtually. Bit of a stretch, but it works just about. That was from JT. And then we got just simply Eve. Epic volume extrusions. Quite like the use of the word extrusion on the basis that it's like extrusion as in the frame and extrusion as in printing. Quite like that. Uh, so those were the ones we got from Twitter. YouTube was a little bit less structured, didn't really have much of a theme there, a little bit kind of random. So we got a, a Mega Steve, which quite nice. CR Mark IV, as if kind of taking the influence from the CR10 and just making it bigger and more marks. Uh, printer, print face. I mean, if we didn't have that suggestion, I would be amazingly surprised. Then we had a BFP, which obviously stands for Big F Printer, filament printer, obviously. Uh, Stephen Jr. the Great, which was suggested by Fat Fat, a kind of son of the Steve, but also more bigger and more better. Do quite like it. Bit of a mouthful. WLP, uh, just simply the wonderful, wonderfully large printer, which is kind of something that I mildly referred to as in the last video, just because I have to, I have to say it's something even when it doesn't have a name. So I called it the wonderfully large. It is wonderfully large. I'm not sure about just WLP. It's just difficult to wallop the wallop printer because people will obviously try and do that. <laughs> Then we've got 30 cubed, Fabby, Fab Baby, <laughs> by G-Burst, g, -burst. g -burst The Menju 4040, suggested by Design Prototype Test, which is, I think, a, a uh, kind of link to Mendel, Duet, and then 4040 for extrusions. Do quite like that. Josh, probably suggested by someone with the name Josh, uh, joined Operational Synthetic Harvester, the username of Vic MKW. The Extrudinator, quite an interesting name, quite a good name, kind of a bit like Terminator, big, bulky, but based on extruding. 
do quite like it. Again, that using the word extrusion as in extrusion the printer and extrusion the filament. And that, that was by Axel Hopfinger. And then he kind of went, assuming it's a he, don't actually know, went one step further and potentially my favorite name so far, uh, Beniprint Bowden Wraps. <laughs> it has a certain sort of kind of Lord General Dr. Beniprint Bowden Wrap sort of, <laughs> so no, it's just an excellently posh sort of 3D printer name. Let's carry on anyway. Uh, simply Bob. No specific abbreviation, and that was suggested not by Dan, uh, not by Bob, but by Dan Reichel. Probably pronounced it wrong. Apologies. And then, of course, we had a printy printer face again. A, a natural suggestion, obviously. So thank you very much for all of those. Not entirely sure which one to go with yet. I'll have to have a bit of a think off screen. I think once we've gone through these as well. So. Let's have a look at these then. So the printer obviously went to 3D Meetup UK a couple of weeks ago now. Wow, time really has gone past quickly. And yeah, there were lots of people there. It was a really good event. I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you're thinking about going next year, then I can highly suggest it. It was a good, it was a very casual event. Everyone just talking about 3D printers, having fun, thinking about technologies and projects and all that kind of thing with kind of some extra programming in uh, kind of Arduino and Raspberry Pi stuff thrown in there as well. It was a really nice event. So yes, if you do want to go, I do recommend it. So these were suggestions left by people that went to there. I had this literally attached to the side of the printer, like so, with this, so people could just put names in the box. So I've not seen any of these yet. I mean, it was supposed to be like a magnetic lid. It's got magnets in it, but unfortunately the gap between the magnets is just too big. So it just falls straight off. Anyway. Not super relevant right now. Let's get on with some of the names. We've got quite a big pile of them. In fact, let's put them back in the box. No, let's keep them out of the box. And then I'll put them back in the box once, no. Take them out as I read them. So. <laughs> T-S-O-B, standing for the son of a beast. Do quite like that one. <laughs> that was a good name. Uh, Paul, quite simply, no further explanation needed, obviously. Just call it Paul. Uh, James, again, no explanation. Doesn't stand for anything, just call it James. Seems a reasonable assumption. Oh, yeah. uh, Jamie Summers, as in the bionic woman. As Steve Austin is bionic man. Hmm. Thank you very much, School to YouTube and Matt One UK. Then we got mine. Call it mine. <laughs> That's the uh, Terry's Chocolate Orange. It's not Terry's. It's mine. Sponsored by Terry's Chocolate. No, it's not. Uh, do quite like that name. Although, probably going to get pretty, pretty confusing pretty quickly. Grizzly Bear. As in, do you quite like it? is a bit of a beast. The Panzer, as in <laughs> maybe a little bit too military. Big Al, just simply Big Al. I wonder if it, I mean, Al is like aluminium maybe. It is certainly big, that's for sure. Pete, again, doesn't necessarily stand for anything. Presumably suggested by a gentleman called Pete. The Dave 101. Pick me! <laughs> Maybe we'll call it the Dave 101. Noodle. Hmm. That's kind of a sort of adorable name. <laughs> if it was like a little machine, a little cute thing that just made a pile of noodles every time. Noodle seems a bit small and gentle. The super printer. That's, that's like a kind of compliment to the printer every time I say it. Oh, the super printer. By definition, it's therefore super. And lastly, we have Colossus. Kind of a standard name. A little bit too easy to guess. But I do like it. Right. 
There's quite a lot of names there. I'm going to have to try and pick one. Give me a minute to have a think about these and I shall be back with you in just a moment. Okay, so I've made a decision on a number of names that I think are suitable. I'm going to put these into a poll for you to vote on and then the winner of the vote will have a high chance of being selected. I'm tempted to give the internet the final vote based on the fact that I chose these so I should be happy with any of them but just in case I don't like it just when we get to the end I'm going to leave myself the final decision. Sorry but not sorry. Anyway so in no particular in fact in order of appearance and nothing more than that the names that have been selected are The Monster suggested by Tinkers on Twitter. We have BFP, well I'm, so James Lamb suggested BFP, Big Filament Printer. I would like to modify James Lamb's suggestion to be BF3DP, so just Big Filament 3D Printer. I quite like that. So that is the second suggestion. Thank you James for giving me the inspiration to modify your suggestion. I hope that's alright. Number three is The Extrudinator by Axel Hopfinger and he did very well and managed to get two suggestions. Brenneprint about and wraps, still very difficult to say, is number four. And the fifth suggestion is one I kind of made up myself that doesn't necessarily mean I like it any more than the other, so don't vote for it based on the fact that I decided it or I came up with it, is BFAMM, the Big Format Additive Manufacturing Machine. It's quite similar to the suggestion that James Lamb made, but slightly different as well. So those are the five suggestions. Please, by all means, go and vote in the poll. I'll put a link in whichever corner that appears, and you can go make those votes. If that doesn't work, which I think it will, five suggestions should be fine for a poll. If not, I'll put a straw poll link in the video description, but yeah, hopefully it'll be one of those YouTube polls that should work nicely. So that's it for me today on this printer. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at print quality. So between now and then, I'll be getting out some big prints, hopefully like big, big. Also, hopefully trying larger and smaller nozzles just to check it can do all those things that it's supposed to do. We'll check for all sorts of things like stringing and bridging and other stuff like that, as well as having a particular lookout for ghosting as I suspect, and many others may suspect too, that might be a problem with this printer. However, let's not make any assumptions. We will do the tests to find out. Uh, before then, or until then, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you want to catch the next video. Hit the notification bell if you want to get notified. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more behind the scenes and stuff like that. Support me on Patreon if that's something you wish to do. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.